Hey there, Leo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of April 14th through April 20th, and we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies. Also, Leo, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all the details about how to do that are available in the description box below. Nope, don't like how that felt. Two more shuffles? Also, Leo, oh, of course, standing in your power. Um, please make sure to stick around until the very end of this reading for messages from spirit. It really ties in the whole reading beautifully. So if this reading resonates for you, definitely make sure to stick around until the very end. Okay, you're definitely showing up in very powerful positions here throughout your reading, but there's a lot of overthinking here for some reason. The main energy for your reading this week is the Eight of Swords. There's a situation here that you're dealing with and you feel very confident. You feel very capable of handling it, but your mind is like overactive in the background. It's like, well, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And, you know, this could go bad. And this is the worst case scenario. And it's almost kind of like in a loop where you're stuck in your head and you just can't stop thinking about this, but not in a good way in like the worst way. Your brain is coming up with all the millions of ways that you could get hurt, that this could go bad, yada, yada, yada. In the recent past, you get the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, and the Temperance. I feel like there was definitely an ending or a separation here for you, and you're still showing me like, I'm good with this. Yes, something ended. Yes, something came to an end. There was a, a separation here, but I'm still in my power. I'm still feeling very good, very confident, very stable. You're definitely not emotionally open after this ending, I will tell you that, but you're very stable, you're very grounded, and it's almost like you're going through a transformation or a healing process here. Um, on a divine level as a result of the separation. Usually when I see the five of pentacles, there's pain, there's anxiety, there's something tied up to that. You don't have any of that in the recent past. So it's really interesting the way it's showing up. In the current situation, you get the fool, the wheel of fortune, the king of wands. You are the king of wands to me. I don't assign gender to my cards. There is definitely a divinely guided brand new beginning here. It's almost like spirits like, oh, Leo, all that, you know, negative stuff wipe the slate clean control alt delete start over now what's beautiful here with the wheel of fortune this is a very um big turning point for you it's like a new phase is beginning for you and it was destined to happen this way right and again i don't know what this is for you there is a connection showing up here but i don't feel like this reading is all about that connection it's more about you now with this connection in the near future you get the six of pentacles four of wands seven of cups you definitely have a desire <clears throat> For equal give and take between you and somebody else here you want to show up 50 percent. you want them to give you 50 percent. you want an equal exchange of energies because you do feel a very strong bond with this person you do feel very connected and very attracted to them but you're also showing me here mm, i don't know i don't know do i want to do this can i do this you know there's a lot of variables showing up here with this equal give and take so i'm not sure why we'll see what the seven of pent or seven of cups is about in the near future when we clarify but you're definitely open to restoring balance in this connection between you and somebody else. So let's see. Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords. I want to see what all this overthinking is for you. What are you overthinking, Leo? You're overthinking a reconciliation, obviously. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Fool, which you get again in the current situation, and the Eight of Pentacles. There's a desire to reconcile here with somebody. You want to get back together with this person. You want to start fresh, like completely wipe the slate clean between you and them. And you want to make things work. You want to work on things with this person. But you're overthinking this whole situation. Can I? Should I? Will I? Will it work out? Will it not? Right? These are beautiful energies. Totally, totally beautiful energies. And then your mind comes in and it's like, yeah, but let's think of all the ways that this isn't going to work for you, Leo. And again, our mind is beautiful because it's, it's there to protect us, right? But the mind never comes in. It's like, Leo, let's look at all the ways that this is going to work out. Let's look at all the ways that this reconciliation is going to go beautifully. No, the mind comes in and it's like, Leo, remember all that pain that you've experienced ever, ever in your life? Yeah, let's bring all that up for you. So let's see. I want to see what the emperor is for you in the recent past. The Emperor is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Again, you're feeling very confident. You're feeling in a very good position here in the recent past. And I do feel like you, you're very, 
when it comes to a connection, there is love showing up here for you. I don't feel like it's love with the same person that you want to reconcile with, though. I feel like it's love in general. You've got love around you. This could be love with new partners. This could just be another romantic connection, which is fulfilling you emotionally. But you're showing me here in the recent past, I'm good. I feel confident. I feel attractive. I feel like I've got my money in check, too. You know, like my finances are in order. I feel good. So this is why this ending probably didn't phase you that much is because either you've had other options or you just feel emotionally fulfilled overall um, in your connections. And so if it ended, it ended, you know, like it's, it's okay. There was a separation, there was a break, no big deal type of energy. Then I'm wondering this reconciliation, who is that with? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a look at the five of pentacles for you in the recent past. Oh my gosh, your cards are just... One more. So the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Pentacles again, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So whatever this ending was, whatever this separation or break was, you showed me that you walked away from it. You left it behind you. But you didn't fully walk away, did you, Leo? It's almost like you're like, okay, it ended... There was a break and i don't feel like this happened recently i feel like this happened a while ago right but the energy for some reason is showing up in the recent past where you're like okay i've walked away i'm done it's over separation breakup goodbye but the seven of swords is here to let me know that it's not really goodbye is it it's goodbye for now goodbye until i change my mind and decide i want to hit you up again right so this isn't a very convincing energy to me it's like i'm walking away i'm walking away i'm walking away ah, let me turn back and see what's back there type of energy Let's take a look at the temperance for you in the recent past. And again, this isn't a judgment on you. How we all do it. We all do it. Trust me. I've been doing readings for a while. When I say we all do it, we all do it, Leo. Temperance is clear. You're getting a lot of repeating cards. Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Temperance, Temperance. So temperance is clarified by the temperance again, the ace of swords and the three of swords. You're definitely working here in the recent past on healing heartbreak, healing emotional pain. It could be as a result of this ending, but I feel like it's also emotional pain from past connections as well. Whatever this heartbreak or emotional pain that you haven't processed that's coming up for you or came up for you because this is in your recent past, you're definitely working through it. You're healing it. You're transforming it. You're not just ignoring it and burying it deep, deep down. You're actually working with it to get rid of it, to heal it, and to move past it. And this is very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Let's take a look at the fool for you in the current situation. It's interesting because the main energy for your reading is the Eight of Swords, clarified by the fool. The fool in the current situation is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Again, lots and lots of repeating cards. So the Fool is clarified by the Four of Wands, which you get again in the near future, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. You definitely want to start over in this connection. You want to have a brand new beginning in this connection. Some of you may be dealing with an Earth sign, Aqu or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, specifically, or somebody that has a lot of Earth in their chart. You definitely want to start over. You definitely want to restart this bond, kind of like wipe the slate clean, erase the past, and start over with this connection. But again, your mind is coming in and being like, this isn't going to work. This can't work. You can't do that. You can't reach out to them. You can't talk to them. They're going to ignore you. Da, 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 da. So even though you have this desire to start over, I feel like your mind is kind of paralyzing you a little bit being like, nope, don't do this and don't do that and don't say this and did it, you know, a little bit of feeling stuck up in your head. Um, but again, it's interesting because all the emotions surrounding this are beautiful. It's just when the mind comes in and lets you know, like, oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, this isn't going to pan out the way you expect it to. Oh, you're being too optimistic, Leo, you know, stuff like that. Let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune in the current situation for you. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Justice, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Cups. You want to set something right here. You want to set something right between you and somebody else. And you're showing me that it has to do with the past between you and them. There's definitely something, it could be a specific event or it could be a chain of events in the past that took place where you've tried to ignore it, you've tried to resist it, you know, pretend like it doesn't exist, not think about it, whatever. It's coming up now again. 
it's time for you on a like spirit is coming in and letting you know divine timing is now this is when it's meant to happen for you to balance things out to set things right between you and this person with regards to whatever happened in this past event and again i don't know what this is you know what this is um it's going to resonate differently for each of you but it's like divine timing is at play and it's like the time is now let's take a look at the king of wands for you here in the current situation king of wands is clarified by the nine of swords the seven of cups which you get again in the near future in the same row the four of cups you're showing me here that there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of anxiety and this makes you really unhappy i feel like you again you have these energies of wanting to do wanting to go make something happen wanting to reach out to this person wanting to set things right but then your mind comes in and it just stresses you out because it keeps telling you it's not going to work this isn't how it's going to work you're being too optimistic you know the mind comes in and kind of prevents you from taking action and all you're doing by all this overthinking is just confusing yourself you're showing me here i'm confused i don't know what to do and all that does is make you unhappy because on the one hand you want to go do you want to have take action you want to make things happen but on the other hand your mind is scaring you and it's like well don't do this and don't do that and da 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 and all that does is leave you confused confused and unhappy about it let's okay i'm not going to take these two it's the higher font and the page of cups so there's definitely an energy of opening up here but i'll take the first three that popped out so for the six of pentacles in the near future you get the lovers the star the seven of wands again the desire to set things right between you and this person is there the desire to balance the energies out is there and what are you doing you keep fighting it in the current situation things are meant to be set right like you have a desire to balance things out between you and this person right like 3d world you and 3d world this person in the near future spirit takes it up a level and spirit's like it's not just about you and them it's about your higher self right because we go into the lovers here and the star this is all about your higher self coming into play and their higher self coming into play and the need for equal give and take and balance and healing to come in between the two of you but again even in the near future you're still fighting it you still are not moving you're resisting this and i feel like it's because your mind is coming in and letting you know this isn't gonna work don't do this da, 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 da. like i've said a million times in this reading already let's take a look at the four of wands for you <coughs> excuse me in the near future four of wands is clarified by the queen of pentacles the chariot and the knight of swords so again excuse me i'm getting over a little bit of a sickness so i know i sound terrible but what's happening here is you're entering an energy of taking care of yourself loving yourself focusing on yourself because i feel like you're so confused you really are like i don't know what to do do i do this do i do that you're like you know what whatever let me focus on me as you're focusing on you you step into an energy of feeling confident and practical and knowing that you can handle whatever this is and from that point forward then things start rolling things start moving and you're like okay i can go do i can go pursue i can go make things happen right and i feel like it's making things happen within this connection now i don't know exactly what you're doing i feel like you're reaching out to this person or you're communicating with them but it's only after you're in a position of feeling like you can rely on yourself and that you have enough of the skills and the tools that you need to actually move forward with this because in the current situation you're just confused the desire is there but you're also hella confused about it let's take a look at the seven of cups for you here in the near future leah Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, which you get in the same row in the current situation, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Cups. You're looking at different ways as to how to resolve this conflict, as to how you can bring back emotional balance and emotional stability within this connection. And I feel like you're the one looking at ways to resolve this, not the other person, because you're showing up as the King of Wands. So in the current situation, you get the King of Wands clarified by the Seven of Cups, and then your future, it's the Seven of Cups clarified by the King of Wands. So whatever confusion, whatever anxiety you're having in the current situation, in the near future, you're going to figure out a way to resolve that. That conflict's going to go away and it's going to be replaced with emotional balance and you feeling very confident in yourself that you can handle all of these things. Very cool. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Leo. The 
From the universe, you get the Page of Cups, the world, and the star. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. This brand new beginning that you wanted between you and this person, that you've desired the, to balance everything out between you and them, that's a new cycle that's starting, and it's starting for you now. But it's only going to start once your heart becomes emotionally open. Remember here, the Page of Cups and the Hierophant came out, and I didn't take them because it's too many cards. You get the Page of Cups from the universe. When you open up your heart, when you become emotionally available again and you're like open to exploring this from an uh, uh, emotional place, that's when this new cycle that you've been dreaming about, that you've been wanting um, for quite some time is actually taking place, not before that. So Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to check out your monthly reading up on the channel now. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you here next week. Bye, Leo.